Hello my other keen enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about PS Solar. I know, PS Solar, another watermelon game. And you know, we're gonna discuss why it should come to the Evercade, why you know what can be holding it back, you know, what it could do for the platform. And yeah. So, you know, before we get into that, like, share, subscribe, do, do all that sort of good stuff for me. You know, we're, we're doing quite well with, with views and subs recently, so thank you for that, and let's just get into the video. So, guys, PS Solar, a JRPG, well, it's a JR, JRPG inspired, I should say, because obviously it's not a JRPG, it's a Western RPG, but it's very sim looks very similar to how, you know, stuff like Final Fantasy and Treasure and all, this, all these other older. Uh, J Japanese RPGs we used to play and look on Sega Genesis, but anyway, uh, PS Solar was released, you know, quite quite recently. It was released in like 2010 for the Make Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis, and it was a homebrew game. And obviously, Simple Walkman Games also makes Paprium. And let's first of all look at the obvious fact with this. Yeah, it could it could run on the arcade. You know, it could run really well. It'd be portable with the handheld. It'd be on the home console as well, so it'd have quite a wide reach. Not to mention, if they wanted to, they could do a dual pack with Pierce Solar and Paprium on one cartridge. And I'm, I'm going to be giving my, give my opinion here. I know I'm told not to give my opinion on a lot of this sort of stuff because I can be controversial. I think that it would sell like hotcakes. I think a Paprium and Pierce Solar like dual cartridge like Xenocris Tanglewood would sell like fire. And you know. Uh, Blaze wouldn't have to worry. Well, not Blaze, but you know, uh, Walkman Games wouldn't have to worry about you know how much profit do they make off of each game from that? Because remember, you know, the cartridges for both PS4 and Paprium are quite hard to come by. You can, and like, if you want to get Paprium, you have to you have to buy it second hand on eBay for like three hundred quid. Because uh, a lot of the cartridges weren't out, you know, sent out. So this would be a way to like reintroduce audiences to these games. You know, Watermelon would make quite a lot of money for it. Blaze would sell quite a lot of Evercades for it, in my opinion. Because people would be like, oh, I've never heard of Pier Solar, or I've heard of Pier Solar, and I've heard of Paprium, and they're supposed to be these really great games. And then, you know, they could, like, really boost up the numbers for both companies. And also, it would expand Blaze's developer pool, because currently with Blaze, obviously, outside of Megacat Studios and Pico Interactive, you basically got everyone that's already re released their games, their games and everything, you know, Atari, Data East, you know, Namco. In our play, they they seem to re-release their games everywhere. Uh, so yeah, it add, add a lot more variety to what's available. Now I know a lot of people want arcade games. I also want uh, several arcade games, especially from Taito. But I feel like getting PS Solar and PS Solar would be a great good, but well, so a good get because you know Blaze needs more of these RPGs because. The more RPGs on these platforms, the longer people are playing on these platforms. The longer people are playing on platforms, the more people are going to want to buy games for these platforms. Not to mention, PS4 is supposed to be a really good game. You know, it looks really good, and obviously we've seen the trailer for the HD remake in the background of this of the video. It was just my voiceover because I'm terrible at editing. But there's that, and you know, like I said, I do think this collection would sell. It would get also. It also bring in probably bring in new collectors. You know, people who like played the game on Sega Genesis or Mega and Mega Drive, or never got a chance to play them, and they wanted to like play the games on a portable or on a home console. You know, and there you go. They, they have the options with the Evercade and the Evercade VS. And yeah, now obviously we want to explain a look at the ability of like would it happen. Personally, I would like this to happen, but I don't think it will. Mostly because Watermelon Games seems to have abandoned PS Solar. Like they don't really speak about it. They, they, they mention it uh, when they, they mention it in the, in the newest Kickstarter for Paprium to like hype people up and like, oh well, you know, you get like a special PS Solar brand. I think it was like a PS Solar branded Dreamcast cover or something like that. I don't know, but you know, they seem to have stopped mentioning the game, which kind of started their careers. And you know it'd be nice if Blaze was able to like go to them like, hey, can we get you know Pierce and Paprium on one cartridge? You know, and we'll make a deal. But I don't think they're going to do that, guys, because Fonzie, the guy who runs Watermelon Games, doesn't seem to really like modern consoles and modern retro consoles. He see, like when he, like when all the stuff came out of Paprium, he had this whole thing, magazines thing, or this bit in the world, this bit in the manual, which was like saying about how emulation clones and that are terrible. 
and they're terrible systems. And, and the other kid runs on uh, emulation, for those that don't know. So, I don't know how Fonzie would react to these games being, to like, PS Solar and Paprium being offered on the Evercade, if they ever were. But, I do, I do want to see both games appear on the system. You know, I think it would be a good get for Blaze, it'd be a good get for collectors who would never got to experience these games. You know, uh, it'd be good to bring in new audiences for those that, m that maybe want to play, just play these games, they've heard about these games and they just want to play them. But, yeah. Otherwise, I do not see uh, any, anything really happening with these uh, franchises, guys. Uh, thank you all for, and I want to thank you all for, for obviously watching and listening. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. You can, if you have any suggestions for you know content, well, for, for games you want me to talk about on this show, you can tweet me on Twitter at Rio and Holloway, or you can DM me. Uh, and if anyone has like the trailer for Lethal Wedding, like the game, uh, please DM me on Twitter. You know, I need to download a copy like so I can make a video on it. But anyway, thank you all for watching. This has been PGP. Signing off.